Sunday, October 8th, uh, Veterans Memorial Stadium, Long Beach, California for the Long Beach High Pro Swap Meet. We're just walking up. We haven't even paid our admission yet. We're just going to get again, get through the gate. Get a quick sneak peek. Um, we don't actually have anything that we're looking for specifically to buy today. But we got our wagon. We got our pocket full of cash that we're going to probably end up spending on stuff we don't need. And we're going to enjoy ourselves. All right. Well, all these cars tend to leave early and the vendors tend to stay late. So I'm going to do a walk through the car corral to see if anything we like. What is that? It looks like a 3031 Model A small block Chevy. Really like it. That's cool digging. Got a, is that a Roadster or did they do chop the coop? It looks like a Roadster. There's a, probably a Roadster with the small block. Cheater Slicks. Dig it. Got a convertible Corvette Stingray. Split bumper Z28. The big old fat slicks in the back. First old G body. 65 T-Bird. Bed C10. If I don't pause long enough, you guys could always uh, pause the video or screenshot it. Zoom in. We got T bucket. Small block Chevy as well. Pretty nice size meat to the back. Hairpins front and rear. 99 Cadillac DeVille. I personally wouldn't consider this a classic, but I know there's some people who do. So there you go. Fifty-six Bel Air, I believe it to be fifty-five. Fifty-five Bel, Air, Bel Air. I, I, You know, as many times as I look at it, I, I can't tell. I know I like a fifty-five better than a fifty-six when we're sitting next to each other, but from a hundred yards away, I can't tell. My vision is that bad. Pontiac Firebird four hundred, like that one. Here's a cool uh, sixty-eight to seventy-two uh, Chevy C ten. OBS 1500 with a short bed. That's good. Pretty little Impala. '55 Chevy. That's the same Ford pickup truck club at the back here every month. I, I like their truck, but showing to you guys a thousand times already. At least ten times this year. <laughs> FJ40, I dig these. I don't know if it's got. They put the small block Chevy in those, and they call them the Toilet, the Chevrolet, the you know, Toyota Toilet. Oh, here we go. I dig the uh, just run it style of that El Camino that just drove by. So here's a. AMC Rambler Americana. And the tagging says it has the 440 Hurst. So I don't know. I've never even seen one of those. Well, it says H. I assume H always means Hurst, but I don't think that's. What's a 67 Malibu? So, when it comes to these Chevelle Malibus, you look at the back window, the flat back window is a 65, the wraparound taillights is a 67, and the taillights go all the way across is a 66. Morning. Down. 
just get a gander at the price. 65k. doing today? Hey, what's happening, guy? Oh, not much. Was this a option or was it that custom with the convertible? It's a, it's a custom. It's a custom? Yeah. I know, some years they had the convertible option and I just didn't know which yeah, one it was. Not that I know of. Okay. But, because uh, this is a 1948. Okay. That's how it's specified on the, uh, the, uh, the DMV. Okay. Yeah. And you got I, the... I, I bought it from an, an elder uh, gentleman in Florida. Okay. Yeah. He couldn't drive it no more because I just uh, installed the uh, power steering on it. Oh. I did the whole thing because he couldn't drive it no more. Uh -huh. So he said, you know what, I'm just looking to sell. So he had invested on eBay. From eBay, uh -huh. I told him, well, we're going to charge you a 10%. Yeah. So what am I, if I make you an offer, we take it off eBay uh -huh. and I just pay you. That's how it went. I love it. It's a beautiful car. Oh, yeah, it's got the shaved it's doors. Built. It's got a... The big block in there? Big block? Yeah. The 454. Right, nice talking to you. Bye. Bye bye. So, as far as Corvettes are concerned, that's my favorite body style. You no know, performance wise, they're, they're kind of a, a dog, but that's fine. I got the pair of one of those C28. It says RS in the back, but my front says Z28. So, I don't know if I've seen this. This is my style. The breather, look at it. the moonshine gas tank. <laughs> I love it. It's got the stone dairy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Small block. Oh, that's a small block Ford got in there oh no it's not that's a big block chevy i don't know what that is i think that's a big block chevy Take it. We got some flaws in the paint on this one. We got a convertible top, seats, everything looks usable, drivable. Gentleman's asking 15K for this one. I mean, in comparison to other vehicles of this vintage, I think that's a steal. It's, it's real money. Here's a Catalina, 1960. They want 25 for this one. That's a beautiful car. SS 15 
small back window. 69th grill. 94 Chevy. Custom. Love these ghost flames on here. This uh, this used to be a 55 olds. It's my favorite one so far. I just love the styling on this one. I prefer the Buick a little bit more, but this is really classy. It was classy. Attention being given to the uh, what I would consider classics, the 1950s and 60s, and even the 30s and 40s. Much more attention to the late 70s, early 80s, even the, into the mid 90s. People are asking a lot for this money. But it's always People are asking a lot less money for these uh, these cars that I would consider classic and a lot more money for these cars that I would consider beaters or throwaways or twenty six K for two thousand two. Pretty sure I've seen this car before. Got a couple of Deuce Days stickers on it. 
red ram dodge convertible look at that interior all those double dies that's really cool Bell 72. Turbo all-wheel drive, 250 horse, stage one. That seems like a reasonable asking price compared to some of this other stuff for a fully race-ready vehicle. Take that right to the uh, good guys, time trials, the road course, whatever. For sale. Six Bel Air. Screenshot that one. Good morning. SSR. SSR. <laughs> For the money you can buy. It.
so there you go. Once again, another successful trip to the Long Beach Swap Meet. Um, it, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. Uh, nothing you haven't uh, seen before if you're a long time viewer of the channel. And of course, we bought a bunch of stuff. Um, got another. We got another uh, six uh, dual carbs, uh, Stromberg type, for a intake manifold for a uh, Chrysler Firepower Hemi. Um, this one actually even came with the carburetors. So, um, I think we paid slightly more for this than we did for the one without carburetors. So, eh, you know, two's better than one. We got two engines. And then I also happen to have a rather pricey brand new uh, dual quad intake for the same. Anyway, we'll figure that out as we go along. We got a uh, nice uh, power glide and you know, put that behind a mild uh, small block and do some drag racing. We got another nine inch narrowed. Um, no idea what we're gonna put it in, why we got it, but $150 for a nine inch. You know, we have a standing rule around here. Uh, nine inch for less than 300, we just, we buy, we don't ask too many questions. Grandpa might be pissed off that his F100 is now stuck on blocks, but we got another 9 inch. And then some uh, other small block related stuff, shifters and whatnot. Uh, do we need any of this stuff? No. Do we want any of this stuff? Yeah. What are we going to use it for? Man. But that's the pit stop ranch way. So, until next time, have a hot rod-tastic.